To be surprised, it looks like there's quite a bit of pressure okay, in there. So hold on just a second. Yeah, it hurts. All I'm doing is looking for some more fluid. It's all right. Well, the girls will like it. So I don't need like antibiotics or anything. Oh no, you'll be getting antibiotics. Well, let's see. If I find a good pocket, I'm able to squeeze it out. Then no, because usually okay. once we get rid of that fluid, you don't need anything further. Okay. Yeah, other than some topical. All right. All right, maybe right about, yeah, right about there. So it's not as impressive as I was hoping. So this <laughs> might be anticlimactic and might not really. Oh. I know. <laughs> you want me to move, Libby? You want to get over on this side, or you need to? No, that's okay. okay. So adding, and then just a couple of um, alcohol swabs. She's ready for a close-up. Mm. <laughs> oh, thank you. Don't let that dry. She always tells me to record stuff, and I'm like, oh, I, never, I never do. Now the pressure's on for me to actually find something in there. <laughs> there isn't much at all. There's like yeah. a tiny, tiny little pocket, so... Yeah, I like medical stuff. I'm like, should I no, who nursing doesn't? or? <laughs> who doesn't? It's fun stuff. Yeah, it is, especially family practice. Yeah, first patient tonight. Of stuff. Got nice psoriasis. That I got to take a big biopsy of and, and wow. suture up. And nice. Now you got this at the end yeah. of the night. All interesting things. Hardest part, it's not done yet. Oh, yeah, we already got some stuff. Ooh, yummy! Holy moly, okay, a little more than I was expecting. <sighs> Sorry, you doing all right? Yeah, you want me to get some lidocaine um. for another poke? Maybe. Okay. Yeah, Libby, can you get just like 1%? Yeah, no epi. No epi. No. We'll hold off. That wasn't too bad. I yeah, think. it was actually a lot more than I expected. Mm -hmm. It was just thick enough that it wasn't really showing up too great on there. Mm. The clearer the fluid, the more black it is. Is it? Oh. Yeah. So when you see a nice big abscess, you'll just see a big black circle surrounded by like bright tissue. Right. That makes sense. Hmm. That was worth recording then. <laughs> yeah, that was actually fairly impressive for us. just a little one on the forehead. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Probably a clogged follicle. Like a miniature one. I don't usually have any big hairs that go between the eyebrows, but... Everyone has little ones, so. Not me. Yeah. I know you have like Ernie Brows. Bernie Brows. Ernie Ernie, Ernie Brows. Ernie Brows. <laughs> yeah. Unibrow, man, it's so bad. I usually like to attack it with a pair of tweezers. <laughs> <laughs> He's so patient. He just lays there while I rip him out of his face. <laughs> huh? I'll just go right in that hole that I take you guys close. Oh, surprise. Ow. Yeah. This is going to... Unfortunately, the lidocaine stings. Yeah. For a second. Okay, keep your eyes closed. Let that sink in. Like a 31 gauge, maybe? Yeah. It's thin enough. So, with these abscesses, you want to make sure is sometimes they can form what's called loculations or different pockets. Mm -hmm. So, when you're going into them, you want to make sure you break down all the walls. Because if mm. you get it all, 
then you heal without really needing anything else. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to get a smaller needle and kind of, actually, okay, ready? I'll be up there some more. Oop. Got a little one there, say that. That was a jumper. Yeah. <laughs> so that was one of those loculations breaking through. Wow, crazy. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Is it feeling a little bit better when I'm poking now? Does that feel better? Yeah. We need one to hit the camera, Doc. Come on. Huh? We need one to hit the camera <laughs> for for drama. That, that big one that jumped on our mask is probably the best that we're going to get. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I missed the best part. You did. <laughs> you jumped right out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now it's just blood. So, yep, that's all we're going to get. Nice work. Yeah, so what I want you guys to do, do you have any Neosporin or anything yes, at all? Yes, sir. Okay, so we're going to get some Bacitracin today, but you can just keep this clean, keep it covered for the next few days, but every day put a little bit of um, Bacitracin on it, okay. and then cover it up, okay? Sounds good. But usually bodies, once it's lanced open, you don't really need antibiotics. Oh, okay, sounds good. Yeah, because your body heals it out.